Riot Games want League of Legends to be a game about teamwork. They want victory to look like five players working in perfect cohesion, communicating constantly. And they've balanced it to emphasize that. Riot has moved away from letting one player carry entire games, and the best teams in the world have built themselves to take advantage of that. But sometimes, all the design choices in the world can't stop an incredible player from stepping up to the plate at a point where everything seems lost. Sometimes, one player does something so incredible that nothing else matters. Team Solo Mid was something of an experiment in the North American League of Legends scene in the summer of 2016. The team had a rocky spring split, and going into the summer, they decided to try to emulate the work ethic of Korean teams, instead of the more balanced way North American teams tended to practice. Uh, my whole life is pretty much based around League, and we get about one day off on uh, Mondays. That meant more practice, more solo queue, more training, more League of Legends than any other team in the West. TSM did all of this to go into worlds as strong as possible, but first, they had to prove themselves again domestically. The team went on a tear in the summer, dropping only one series the entire split, losing six total games in the process. TSM makes it look easy. It wasn't unheard of in the LCS, but with stiff competition from teams like Immortals. Immortals has also only dropped one match, and that's two TSM. They are really good. It seemed incredible that TSM could dominate the league so effectively. TSM, only for a moment, were jaded from the first place spot, but they will reclaim that spot on the pedestal and will be that first seed in the North American LCS. TSM take down Immortals. TSM went into playoffs with a clear favor. But one play from Doublelift in game four of the finals reminded the world exactly why TSM was the great Western hope. TSM started the playoff strong, steamrolling Counter Logic Gaming 3-0. They moved on to face Cloud9 in the grand finals, but at first, it looked like TSM couldn't keep up the pace. And the pillar catches Vileprouse, who doesn't have a way out, and oh! dies! Doesn't even pop the gray health, and now Doublet's in danger! He's gonna go down! A double kill for Sneaky! C9, 2v2 outplay in the bot lane! Cloud9 took game one decisively. Here we go, and game one goes to Cloud9! But TSM was ready to bounce back. Games two and three were one-sided. TSM gonna take the lead in the series, and they are one game away from their fourth North American Championship. But in game four, Cloud9 was back to putting up a fight. While TSM took an early lead, it was small, and Cloud9 made up the difference 30 minutes into the game. Here comes the damage up, but Smoothie's gonna go down. Hawks are staying alive. Oh, oh, he's he's the it it's up the impact, and Daniel Jackson's a hero. Now to Bjergsen, and he's gonna use the Zonius. Now what's left for him? Jensen gets him. It's an ace for Cloud9. C9 was playing textbook League of Legends. Strong objective control, great communication and team fights. It looked like they had it all. And Cloud9 are in the driver's seat to tie up the series. They got themselves in position and pounced on TSM. There, but Elder gonna be on the table soon. He's gonna play again. One Double get tagged! Impact of the front line. Here comes Smoothie. Going for the knockup. They might catch in. Yes, they do. Biofrost is down. Smoothie's gonna trade his life as well, though. Four versus four. No supports alive. No Guardian Angel for Meteos, whereas TSM still have two. If the Weaver's Wall! Run, Weaver's Wall oh. catches off a couple. Now can they have the follow-up damage? A couple of stuns come in. They've got Bjergsen, and they shut him down with a 1600 damage crit. Can they get double? Low. Meteos, another knockup, trades his life, but it's down. Double lift! Gets the GA. Double kill lift. Wall. Kills Take everybody! Me. They've got three. Impact goes down. And A's for TSM. Double lift turns around the fight. Staying alive. So much patience. Finds his time. And he takes over. Sneaky started the fight with a curtain call, taking a chunk out of Double Lift and then Biofrost. Back to the front line, here comes Smoothie. Going for the knockup, they might catch in. Yes, they do. Biofrost is down. Smoothie's gonna trade his life as well, though. Four versus four, no supports alive. Jensen threw out a Weaver's Wall to cut Double Lift out of the fight, but Cloud9 couldn't quite kill him. They were going to regret that. Double Lift patiently waited out the fight, looking for the perfect opportunity to turn around on C9 and bring them down. Can double get double! Low. Medios, another knockup, trades his life, but it's down. Double lift! Gets the GA! Double kill you all! Kills everybody! They've got three! Impact goes down! And A's for TSM! 
had TSM lost a fight, Cloud9 would have easily pushed the series to Game 5. But Doublelift didn't let them. Nexus turrets, nothing to stand in their way as TSM cement themselves as the most dominant organization in North American League of Legends and win their fourth North American Championship! All the teamwork in the world, all the perfect play, none of it matters when one player is good enough to throw the meta aside and just carry. Don't group up on the dot. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I'm behind him. I'm on Jim. I'm dead, I'm dead. Push it back, push it back, push it back, 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 back. I'm on Nara, I'm on Nara. I'm on Jim. Where's that? Peter? I'm on Jim. Tell me that's it. Jim, no flash. Jim, no flash. Why is someone here? In that moment, Doublelift reminded everyone why all that practice, all that work, made TSM the best team in North America. Doublelift reminded the world that TSM was NA's greatest hope. I'm super proud to be able to represent NA. I'm really happy that I was able to play in Canada, which was like, in a long time coming to have an esports event. And I'm just going to do you guys proud at Worlds. Looking back, TSM did not go on to dominate at Worlds. They only got close to making it out of their group. I mean, they, they put everything into this year, uh, and you could tell the dedication, you know, all the hours that they put in, and it did not, uh, did not work out, though. But that play, that championship, are still legendary. TSM's practice regimen sharpened already incredible players into something better. They might struggle internationally, but at home, no one is better than TSM. It's time to make building your champions easier. Introducing the SCORE Esports New Builds Calculator, which allows you to plug in items and runes to figure out which builds give you the best stats. The New Builds page also gathers information on what the top players and your favorite pros are building, so you'll be able to try them out yourself. Take control of your champion and try out the new feature on the SCORE Esports Builds website by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.